this is a Stramore mixed media sketchbook. Um, I I think I have another blank one of these, but I kind of mainly use Royal Talents Art Creation ones because I actually really like the paper on these, but they're just hard to get a hold of in Ireland. So, and the Royal Talent ones are cheaper and a lot easier to get a hold of. So. I'm gonna go with them from now on I think these are really nice though the only the other thing about this is that this isn't a standard like um paper size it's not like an A4 or A5 it's it's a funny sort of an in between size I'll show you an A5 in comparison I feel like this is an A5 journal that I have you know so it's like a couple of centimeters more all around and it's a bit more kind of um I don't know, it's not as like tall and skinny as this, it's a bit wider, so it's a funny size and for transferring these into like prints, I think that's a bit awkward. So that's why I kind of just don't really go for these ones anymore. The paper is lovely and handles multiple layers really well. I would recommend them if you want just a nice sketchbook for working in, but for accessibility and for um, transferring it to like print sizes, it's a bit awkward, so that's why. Um, I started this on the 9th of October. I got in the habit of dating my sketchbooks because I got out of the habit. I didn't do that for years actually and then it was really hard to go back and see my progress so I started dating them. Um, so this was in the time of Peachtober. I did Peachtober last year and I think I was fairly successful with it in that like I only skipped a few days. This year I haven't been as successful because I have a bit more on my plate this year. I have a puppy and I have a sick cat right now and I like I'm working a different job now and even though that job affords me more time because I don't have to commute anymore it's um I'm doing it the good ship illustration picture book course and Everything else, and a lot of the prompts I find, I just didn't, I wasn't inspired by them, so I, I kind of told myself, what's the point in stressing about, oh, I have to do this prompt, even though it doesn't inspire me. I think that's a bit pointless, so I kind of fell off the wagon of it and haven't jumped back on. And I've been just doing stuff that I actually enjoy doing and not forcing myself to fit into a prompt that I don't like, so you'll see some prompts from last year and yeah you'll see some prompts for this year as well so I think the prompt for this one was storm and I really like it the bottom bottom half is okay very me with the little sparks of color but I love the top and I love the, the texture of the actual pencils you can see I really like how they came off. Um, don't remember what this prompt was. I remember hating both of these though. I think I did a good job on this one, but I just think it's a bit boring. And um, this one, I'm not good at like golden -y looking trees, I don't think, which is what this is supposed to be, but I feel like it just looks like they're on fire. Um, this one I think I did a pretty good job of. It's a stove at the time we were in the process of buying this house that I'm in now and it has a stove with similar brickwork all around it. Yeah, I think that's definitely what inspired me to do this one. Um, also, I remember hating this one. I mean, it's just a big kind of crap. <laughs> it's a bit mean of me to say that, but I didn't like it. I like this one though, I think that jam jar is very cute. That would be a good sticker actually. Note to Seth Hannah, that's a good sticker. Um, I did these, I did jam and then I did jammy dodgers, which I think are very cute. Very different. That is the nice thing about um, these prompt lists is that they do kind of get you to, to like draw and paint. You wouldn't normally paint. Um, this one was pumpkin, but I really like this little cat. Look at his little face. I love all the different colours. I ended up getting into that. I really like that one. Um, these were another two I didn't like. This is a stork herring? I'm not sure. Um, 
Then this is like a circuit of mushrooms. I'm bleh on both of these smells. This is, I have some of these pages in between just to, oh, go away. Just to stop uh, things from rubbing off on each other. As I continued in the sketchbook, I started taking from the front pages and sticking them into the back ones, but uh, it was a good take a now. I presume the part for this one was Beetle. I think it, it did good, it's just, it's just not my kind of art, I don't think. This one, I think this is to this day my most liked piece on my Instagram and I have it pinned to the top because I actually am. I'm quite proud of this one. I really like how it looks. Unfortunately I've had several people try and make like exact copies of this one and it annoys me because you know I, I just went with what I felt like in the moment and then I can see them and like they're choosing to put this circle exactly there and they're choosing to use this colour to outline that leaf and I just think it's kind of it's a pity seeing people do that because they think that that's an important thing to do as opposed to, you know, saying, oh, I really like how she outlines her leaves with different colours. I'm going to do that or something. You know, I know this isn't original or me in any sense, but it's just frustrating seeing people do the exact thing as opposed to taking the concept and going with it or taking features and going with them. But um, that's that one. That's my favourite ever. And here's a little cat in a window. Don't remember what half of these prompts are. This was 31st Halloween. So, um, I like this one. I like that colour of a sky, very kind of like autumn, rainy day. This one I don't like. <laughs> I try to do a holly, but I think it's just too overwhelming and messy. And here is another Christmassy one, uh, a wee robin. It's cute. It's just a bit boring, to be honest. I like this one, I, but I'm a bit frustrated because I had this in my head and I feel like what I had in my head isn't quite what I pulled off. But I am so happy with it. Maybe it's one I could revisit at some point. Um, this was another one that I had in my head that I don't think I pulled off. This one I think people liked quite a bit, but I think it's just, excuse me, I think it's just a bit busy and you can't really tell what's going on. Um, another well loved one a little, a little crow and some blackberries and then this one was bad this was another one that had an idea in my head didn't succeed it I have this little mouse and he's about to go into all of this like tall leafy grass with the sword he's obviously gonna go on some sort of mission somewhere then this one I don't think I posted um, so just me playing with some oil pastels, I think. Not bad, just a bit boring. <laughs> um, leaves and some purpley background. I like this one quite a lot. I think this was where I did a pink underpainting and intentionally left spots of behind. And I really enjoy doing pink underpaintings and um, like bright kind of fluorescent pink. And I so many times I get people being like, oh, what's the purpose of you doing a pink underpainting? And like, theoretically, I know probably it is that it's, it's somewhat of a complementary colour to the greens and yellows that I use, but I just like it aesthetically. <laughs> and then sometimes I have people respond to those people asking me that, and I was like, oh, it's to like brighten the colours on top and it's an underpainting, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I just like the pink. It's not that deep. Um, this was a draw this in your style, which is mean, not bad. I actually think I quite liked it at one time now. This one was a quick, messy little house with some wee trees. Um, this one. I do quite like how this one turned out, but I wouldn't mind trying to revisit it as well because I think it's just a little bit messy. It's um, like an aerial view of driving through the countryside at night time. You have like your car with the backlights and then you have your headlights on, shining everything and then just all blues and purples for the fields. Google thinks I'm trying to ask it something. No, I'm not. Um, this was a draw in my style as well. I did not like how this turned out. At all. 
<laughs> I tried, but I don't like it this one time. Uh, but I've had someone else recently um, comment on it saying how they found my work through this piece and loved it. And I'm like, wow, it's so funny how you see you see work from other people and you love it, but it might be like their least favorite piece. I think it just goes to show that you should always post something. Well, not that you should always post things, but if you're debating posting something because you don't like it, you should just go ahead and post it because it could be something that somebody ends up loving. Um, this was a nice little piece. It's so small. <laughs> oh, it's so tiny. I'll, I'll hold it up for you to see. Um, this. And it, it, this is actually kind of like the background for like the header on my um, business cards and back of my postcards and stuff. And I, I really like that one. I think that turned out really well. I quite like this one as well. It's like a little kind of muddy, snowy scene. You can see kind of slushiness. I think that looks like what winter looks like here when it snows. Kind of, it's almost like dirty snow half the time. Um, this was a draw this in your style from the lovely Anna on Instagram. I'll put her handle up. I like how this one, I was in a bit of a slump um, between this piece and this piece because this was the last piece I did before I moved house and I struggled to feel comfortable in this house. Sounds like the wrong thing to say, but it was a bit of a struggle to like get used to everything and get used to like living in a new place and making art in a new place so it took me a long time to settle but I feel like this was one of the first ones I did where I was like this feels like my art you know um this is a little landscape again with the pink underpainting coming through uh, it's okay <laughs> it's okay I'm not a big fan of it but it's all right um this was just generic grassy scene this one, um, <laughs> the idea was different in my head. There's not enough contrast in this. Everything looks the same apart from the house. Um, I think I could do better if I tried again. This was a very quick sketchy sketch. A bit stormy, kind of channeling the scribbly clouds from the first painting in the sketchbook. Um, this one I liked, it was just a little bit different. It's, of like a, what I imagine maybe is like a siren singing in a pool of water and you're like peeping through and you can see her and she's all like ooh and you're all like ooh. This next one I do sometimes I do little um, 10 minute studies if I'm feeling like I need to paint something but I don't know what to do and I end up bringing up like four or eight kind of reference images and I end up spending 10 minutes on each. So this one I decided to go for sort of like the theme of like houses. I always love how these turn out because they're such um they're low pressure and there's something different. They're always fun. I'd highly recommend if you don't if you haven't done that before, I'd highly recommend doing it. It's just setting bring up some images, um setting a timer. What I generally do is I like time. I'll do maybe like the first five minutes of like laying down you know, the paints and then I'll come back when they're dry and do five minutes of pencils or something. Um, this one, this one I love. And it's a little froggy, he's sleeping on his stump and the sun's coming through and shining. Um, it's funny, a lot of the times when I look back at paintings, I tend to listen to audiobooks when I paint and I remember the contrast between the audiobook I was listening to and the subject matter here it's really funny like i was listening to the poppy war trilogy it was like the last book of the poppy war trilogy and it was towards the end and it's a very bleak series that's not a spoiler to say it's just a, it's a very bleak series um there's really depressing <laughs> basically but uh this is just a cute happy happy picture it's like <laughs> and there's like war and death happening um this was a bit of a failure. I tried to paint something else and then I remember I hated it so I went over it with this orange and then I just sketched over that with a pencil. Um, but hey, at least I made something. Um, this one, another kind of like, 
I like the way the lighting came through on this one. I will, I will admit that. I like the lighting on that one. Um, this one, I like doing these like full blue pieces every now and again, but that's not that good. It's supposed to be hollyhocks. I feel like I could do a better job of like outlining them. <laughs> I don't think I posted that. That's a cat. It's not a very good one. I think this is a little art blocky period. Here I did little thumbnails. I remember the reel of me doing this one. Did very well for some reason. Strange looking at it because I remember just being like, ugh, I'll just draw something. Here, just another generic fun landscape. Here's one I didn't like how to turn it out. I tried doing blue wonder painting here. This is just not, not contrasted. I'm not good at autumnal forests, even though they're like my favourite scenes to look at. I love how this one turned out. I love the contrast of the shadows on the roof. Some intestine stamps I made. This was one I didn't like. I don't think I even bothered finishing this one. This was a little art blocky period. Yeah, this is where I feel like I started going into art block because then I did these and I tried to do them and I stopped um, because I, I hated them. <laughs> I think I took a it took maybe like a week off Instagram after that because I was just forcing myself to paint and it wasn't worth it. This, uh, this one here, I like how this one turned out. Very fun, scribbly. I was actually using up excess acrylic gouache um, that was on my palette because when it dries down you can't re-wet it so I said I'd use up the extra and make this piece and I like how this one went. I feel like my lowest pressure pieces tend to be the, the best ones. Um, this was me using up the paint still. I did this one. I like the sun coming through here and the shadows of these ones. Which I think is cute. And this one. You saw me paint in my vlog and like I said, hate that tree. Love this tree. <laughs> Uh, that's just how it do be. And then there's this one. Which I really like this one too. I think this is me doing autumn trees as well. I think my issues before was that I wasn't getting enough definition when I was just doing, say like this section here where it's not defined. Um, it's okay to leave little blobs like that, but I think adding in the branches is what I was missing before. And now I love adding in branches. It's like it's really fun, I find. That was just, I feel like this was just nearly a quick kind of study type thing I was doing to, for the sake of doing it. Um, don't think I did it before this one. Um, that was like pink on my painting, kind of rainy sky, just playing with paints really. Me <laughs> trying to measure things. This was going to be for a prompt this year for peach tober but ended up not going with that one because I didn't like how it looked and you'll see me kind of like revisit this style and colours in a few pages and it turned out way better when I revisited it. This was the prompt for a tiger. This one I, I enjoyed doing quite a lot. It was fun. If you go back on Instagram you see the reel of me doing this like you know it's just an orange blob and then I go in with this paint grey pencil and you can just suddenly see it all come together. It's really fun watching that. This is what this wanted to be. <laughs> this is doing that really well. I was really, really happy with this one. Um, it feels like it could definitely be a spread in a book, which is my goal. Um, yeah, just love the way that the house is at an angle. Love all the different branches and colours and mm, love it. <laughs> Not often I say that about one of my pieces, but I really like that one. Um, also really like this one. This is kind of like my frog character that I like drawing. And um, yeah, he opened up a spell book and he didn't think magic was real. He was just messing around with it, wore the hat just to be stupid. And then magic happened and he's like, oh my God, whoa. <laughs> I love his, his dumb little face. He's so stupid looking, <laughs> such fun. Um, this piece I didn't like, this was Cuckoo was the prompt for this one. Um, and yeah, I just feel like it's a bit bland. 
this one um it's okay it's not bad i actually don't mind it too much i'm not very good at like doing the details of houses but i think it's kind of it's so janky that it actually kind of looks good so full moon i believe was the prompt for this one um this was me just splattering paint down and then actually earlier on today i saw that i hadn't actually add anything on top of it so I just went in and scribbled. This is a view from the walk that I do with my dog kind of on a daily basis. You have this like a, you cross the bridge kind of like over here and then you can come down and walk to the edge of like, it's a very big still river so often it like mirrors it and there's a lot of little duckies there and you have all the trees and then you can see like over here the start of the town peeping through. And I did another version of this in my sketchbook. Unfortunately, it got wet and this something on this page leaked through, so it's a bit damaged there, but it's not the end of the world. But yeah, that's that view. And that's that view with different colours. So I really like drawing that view. I think it's really nice. And then this is the piece that I just finished. Um, which is just a sketch for a kind of a larger panel painting that I want to do. That is it. And that is the sketchbook tour. Yay!